I know people who say you can't win a fight against a rifle-wielding attacker if you're carrying a pistol, but you know what? Skill trumps everything. Welcome to today's Active Self-Protection Bonus Badge Cam Lesson. I'm your host, John Correa. Today's video comes to us from Mariposa County in California. Everyone should have a less lethal tool on their person in this day and age, and the one that I carry, give to my family, and recommend to everyone is Palm OC. Hit the link in the description and you can get one for you and yours as well. This sheriff's deputy is here to serve a restraining order apparently from another state because of a domestic that this guy has had. He's come through an unlocked gate. That's an important point. We have a bunch of audio from here. Let's listen in. What's up, What's up? Oh, Hello, Sheriff's Office. Hello, Sheriff's Office. Hello. There he is. I'm Sheriff's Office. How you doing, sir? Are, are you uh, Douglas? Pa no. Pocky? No. What are you doing, partner? I'm, I'm you here. You came through my gate. It was locked. It was, hang on. It no, was no, locked. no, no, no. You came through my gate. It was locked, man. I'm going to leave paperwork here for you. Stop! Put the gun down! No! Okay, stop! Control David 20, shots fired! The officer called for backup here. It took 20 minutes for him to get backup, which is not uncommon for deputies in rural counties like this. The guy ran off and they caught him a little while later, had a big manhunt. Guys facing just a litany of charges here uh, because not only did he have, you know, did he take shots at an officer here and try to murder a police officer, but he did so with what apparently was an unregistered assault firearm or a, an AR-15 that was a homemade gun in the state of California. That's not cool. And it was short barreled, also not cool in the state of California. And it was silenced. It had a suppressor on it. Also not cool in the state of California. We can talk about all that stuff another day, but thankfully the officer was uninjured. The perp here, the guy that was in the house was actually shot twice in the shoulder. And that is where this one ends. Pretty serious stuff right there. And our law enforcement officers face these kinds of threats literally every single day. If you want to get better as a self-defender, specifically better with your handgun skills, come and join us on the Active Self-Protection Extra channel. It's a second channel we have here on YouTube, and it'll train you to get better with your handgun, I promise you. Officers, please come and join us with that, would you? Let's think about lessons. So the officer's here to serve a warrant, and I do want to note, again, these guys are just doing their jobs, right? And it can get crazy in a hurry. I noticed there's a couple dogs, but they're friendly dogs, so he's like, okay, guys, come here, whatever. And he definitely plays officer friendly here. Knock, knock, hello, Sheriff's Department. And he's kind, hey, are you this person, whatever? I'm gonna have to leave you some paperwork, fine. And, and you can be both officer friendly and be absolute hell in a gunfight. It's possible to do both of those things. So he's talking to this guy, and the guy is saying, you know, hey, buddy, what are you doing, or whatever, so he's using using a little verbal tick there, 
Like, like, what are you about? And you gotta be careful of this. And I think the officer did a very good job of not succumbing to contempt of cop. You know, when he says, hey, what are you doing, bucko? Uh, and, the, and the officer's like, hey man, I'm just doing my job, whatever. I'm gonna have to leave you this stuff. And now the guy gets mad. So he's like, hey, you came through a locked gate. No, the reality was the gate was unlocked and his badge cam, the original show that, and that's what the sheriff uh, you know, uh, released as a statement as well. So he's gonna stand here. Now, I think there's something interesting that he does here is that he stands on the corner so he can see both sides. And I think that was a really smart decision because that allowed him a lot more visibility. When you put yourself in a good position, it gives you a tactical advantage and thinking through those things, if bad stuff happens, okay, that's fine. But I wanna notice a couple things. Is it okay for the guy to go back in his house? Is the officer gonna to have to chase him or whatever? There wasn't any threat of violence at this point, so I get it that the officer says, okay, the guy went back in his house, whatever, we're not at a place of violence or anything like that, so I'm gonna let him do his thing. But note here that the dog went around the other side. When you start seeing that, the officer starts paying attention and that was savvy as well because he sees, aha, there might be something over there. And turns out it was our guy. And notice here that our officer gets his gun up and on target very, very quickly because he sees the guy come out of the house with a rifle. Well, guess what? Now he's come out of the house with a rifle. Now we're talking about a pretty significant deal. Starts with one hand. Now the officer is going to get a second hand on the gun, but notice that he's got the paperwork in his hand. Can't tell you enough. Train to drop the stuff in your hand. You're about to have a gunfight. You want to have two hands on that gun and nothing else in the way. And that takes practice. It takes work on the range. It takes work in your dry fire. But get the stuff out of your hands because you're about to have a gun battle here at about 50 feet, give or take. You're talking about that. That's about what you're looking at. So we're talking about 15, 17 yards with a handgun. And our officer is going to get a couple of shots off on this guy. And he's going to get good shots off because watch the guy bring the gun up. So this is where the officer decides, nope, we're going to get after it is right here. Now, why does it take less reaction time for this officer? Because it's only about a quarter second here than others. Because he's, he's made that decision. He's got his gun up and he's saying, wait a minute, if that guy starts to bring that gun up, he's got, already got the gun up and the sights on target and made a decision about when he is going to fire. And because of that, he gets ahead of this guy. Now, I know some people are going to say, wait a minute, you can't win a gunfight against a rifle wielding attacker if you're wearing, if you are using a pistol. Hogwash. It's the first person to put a good shot in the other guy who matters. And our officer gets the first shot off and gets a hit. It hit this guy in the shoulders. Now, again, is that a fight stopping hit? Not really. The guy was able to run off and those kinds of things, but he got a good hit. His second shot, he's going to get a good hit. And because of that, the guy's shots miss. He did take multiple shots at our deputy, but the deputy missed. So that marksmanship piece, 15, 20, 25 yards needs to be strong. And you need to know when that gun comes out in hand that you see your sights, you put them over the target, you grip that gun like it stole something from you and you press the trigger straight to the rear. So this officer does that, has a little bit of peekaboo with this guy. And then I think he does a great thing here and he comes out of a different space goes another direction because the guy's expecting him where he was. So he goes the other direction. And I think that misdirection really got him out of the danger zone in a hurry. Now, I know some people are going to ask, wait a minute, why did he run away? Well, the answer is there's nobody else at risk here. Nobody else here who is in danger. And so getting himself to a safe position is a perfectly reasonable thing to do. Because again, he wants some backup. He doesn't really want to fight a guy with a rifle while he has a pistol, although he won the fight with his pistol. So the next thing here is that whatever you have on your person in the moment is what you're going to end up fighting the fight with. The officer didn't have a reason to have his patrol rifle with him. And so he had his pistol. You need to be strong with your pistol skills. And that's the, the case, whether you're a law enforcement officer or a private citizen. And this officer had enough to get the hits he needed in the moment when the fight came to him to cover his asp.